Okay, so today we're going to have a quick look at this. Um, this is a HW uh, 99S Virauk. Now, this rifle in one form or another has been in the uh, Virauk stables for a very long time. Um, and I think originally it was known as the HW50. In fact, I'm pretty sure that in certain countries it's still sold as the HW50. Um, and originally it was sort of marketed as the baby version of the HW35. Um, and I think you could get two versions of it. One of them came with the record trigger and the other one came with a rather simpler trigger design. But the, uh, the barrel and the overall size and dimensions of the rifle were exactly the same. Um, now, it was kind of eclipsed in this country by the 35, which everyone saw as the full power sporter. And the 50 was largely overlooked, though certain individuals certainly took to it. And I think I'm right in saying, in fact, I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that uh, the well-known airgun shooter and journalist for Airgun World in the early days, Jim Tyler, um, owned a 50 that he had tuned by... Um, um, Mr. Bokert, who tuned it up for him, and he also had it engraved by Don Blockswitch, and uh, that had an Elm uh, custom stock as well that was made for it. Um, and he really loved that rifle. Uh, that was one of his favourite rifles, or seemed to be. Uh, from what I can remember, he was offered an awful lot of money um, to sell it. I actually saw that rifle on display on the Airgun World stand at one of the game fairs a oh, long 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 time ago um, and it was a lovely looking thing but by and large they were eclipsed by the 35s uh, and then later the 77s and the 80s so fire out had a bit of a rebrand in britain and it's now called the 99 s and this is their sort of entry level uh springer if you like it's the cheapest Springer in the range, I think. There might be one that's slightly smaller, the 30, which is more of a kid's rifle. But this is certainly the cheapest sort of full-sized, um, full-power or nearly full-power sporter that they do. So it's quite a compact, quite small little rifle, and it's fairly light as well for a Viral Springer. Probably weighs about seven and a bit pounds. Which is pretty light when you think that a, uh, a 35 is coming in at about a pound heavier. And a 77 is even heavier still, about probably a pound and a half. So it's fairly, fairly light for a Springer and fairly compact. Uh, but nonetheless, still a top quality Viral product, as you would imagine. So like I say, originally these were marketed as a 50. Uh, but now in this country at least they're in 99s so let's have a little look at it and see what you get for your money so up front we've got a uh, standard foresight um, now the thing is don't be fooled by this because it looks like the Virauk uh, foresight that you get on an 80 or 35 um, um, a typical one with an adjustable where you can unscrew that and drop a different retin you can't it looks like that but it isn't it's still made of some sort of metal, but it's basically, it's just a, a shrouded post in there. It's not interchangeable, despite this being um, sort of serrated around the edges here. It makes it look as if you could unscrew that. You can't, it's fixed. So it's not the Virauk adjustable um, front sight. Beautiful barrel, beautifully polished. Really nicely blued, top quality as you would expect from Viral. Again, standard Viral uh, Springer breech, nice big bolts. You can take up any slack that ever occurs, not that it probably will ever in this rifle. A very solid detent action on it, and Viral's new sort of standard uh, rear sight, which is very, very good. Micro click adjustment. Um, and you can alter the uh, the grooves at the back. There's a V and a bigger and a wider U shape and a slightly smaller U shape. Really nicely polished and blacked traditional cylinder. 
the 11 mil scope grooves and the usual Viralk indents for uh, arrest of uh, screws and standard Viralk automatic safety catch. Now on this one, um, it's still got all the warnings on the back here, but they're no longer stamped into the rear of the cylinder on this one. These are just sort of, uh, looks like some sort of etching onto the, uh, the cylinder surface. Nice stock, hardwood beach stock and uh, fair dues, quite a lot of grain showing through on this particular example. Really nice, plenty of grain showing through. Which is a lot nicer than a lot of the uh, rather more boring beach stocks that you see. Quite nice figuring on it, almost looks like tiger striping in spots. Very nice. It's got a mixture of stippling and checkering. So it's like checkered here and then this bit stippled. That's stippled, that's checkered. Uh, and there's a mix. And then it's got the Vire Out name embossed on it. And it's the same with the pistol grip. This bit here and is uh, stippled. This bit's stippled, but these are checkered. And the combination of these together gives a really good grippy surface. Um, it's got a really, really good grippy surface, actually, to be fair. It's quite slim in the pistol grip, unlike a lot of Viralks that are quite chunky, especially the 77. This one is quite slim in the pistol grip. Really nice Viralk record trigger that everybody knows about. Top quality bit of kit. Probably the best Springer Trooper, uh, even now. And the normal Viralk rubber. Uh, recoil pad with a black line spacer so all in all the woodwork on it's quite nice still not sure about this still not particularly keen on this cutout that they've put in the bottom here um, that apparently is for a bag rider though who on earth is going to be using a bag rider with a rifle like this i do not know so yeah so quite light quite short carbine quite a compact rifle beautifully finished Typical Virat quality. Really good. This rifle is giving about 11 foot pounds, which is plenty. Um, this is a 177 calibre. And it's giving just, just under 11, which is plenty powerful enough for a Springer. Uh, it really is. You really don't need that much more than that, to be fair. Especially not if you're going to shoot it with open sights. Which I am going to keep this exactly as it is. Um, I've already used this out in the field for shooting the pigeons in the uh, feral pigeons in the, one of the stable blocks, and I had a particularly good day with it. Um, superb. Bolt, no bolts on the side of the action to hold the woodwork on. It's held by a bolt at the bottom, a bit like the uh, 35 and um, bolts through the trigger guard as well so no plastic on this gun at all all metal construction uh, and wood and absolutely beautiful really nice very smooth easy to cock very easy to cock and uh, this one i've put a little bit of lt2 on the spring nice and smooth to shoot now no twang or anything uh, lovely, lovely little rifle. A perfect little handy little carbine. Um, easy to carry around due to its lightweight. It's accurate, very accurate actually. But you would expect that from a Viral. They've got really good barrels. Um, and a really good trigger. And a combination of those two things. And not to mention the solid build quality of them. Um, makes them very accurate little guns. All in all, for the little baby of the uh, Virat family, it is a superb little rifle. It really is. Such a handy little lightweight sporter. You know, you can carry that round all day. Beautifully made. Virat really do make gorgeous springers, and I'm beginning to get quite a collection of them now. Um, so, yeah, there it is. Um, so I will put a little bit of footage up now of me uh, shooting the ferals. So if you're slightly offended or don't like uh, hunting, 
um, videos or pictures of uh, dead vermin, dead pests, then now is a good time to uh, stop watching the video. Um, but, you know, this gun is a proper little multi-purpose gun. You could quite happily give that to a teenager um, as a first rifle to learn to shoot with. Um, the safety's great on it, the trigger's superb. Um, everything about it's really nice. Um, but at the same time, it's also a handy little carbine lightweight rifle for um, just carrying around for a bit of general uh, pest control as well, because it's plenty powerful enough. Um, and as a, a starter rifle, it's perfect, because a lot of these starter rifles are marketed as starter rifles. But they've got really bad triggers uh, and very poorly executed uh, rifling on the barrels and whatnot. It can actually put people off shooting because they're just not going to get the accuracy. Um, these can be had for under 300 quid, so it's not even that expensive really, for a rifle that will probably last you forever and a day. You know, th there's basically not a lot going to go wrong with this thing. It's such good quality. It might need a new mainspring every couple of years. But it's a fantastic thing. Beautiful looking. Craftsmanship, the quality on Virat rifles is really good. It really is. They really do are at the top of the game when it comes to springers. Very dominant force. And when you've handled uh, one of their products, you can see why. It's a great rifle, this Ferdus. Right, so HW 99S Virat. 99s first time out um, clearing these ferals again from out of these stables really I've made a right mess so many of them here in this stable block so it's another what, seven there another seven cleared out this rifle's superb really small very very lightweight Perfect for the job. Shooting about 11 foot pounds. Exceptionally accurate. And uh, just made the job so easy. Nice rifle. Very, very nice rifle. Typical buyer out quality. And yet, under 300 quid. Fantastic. What a beautiful rifle that is. It's so easy to use. No twang on that one. Um, just a dull thud. It's quite noisy um, from the uh, the barrel end. You know, the, the, the blast is quite loud, um, but fantastic. Open sights again, and that'll do now. I'll leave these stables alone now till, the, uh, till next year. We can get the horses back in. Pleased with that. Great gun. Done a good job there. The mess that pigeons make is unreal. The state of that. Absolutely riddled with pigeon droppings everywhere. They're disgusting. Everywhere. 